wondering why I'm inside cleaning school floors at lunchtime. I'll tell you why. Because I've just had the worst morning of my life. Gemma, don't! My bat. My favourite cricket bat. Well, if you hadn't have surprised me, I wouldn't have broken it. This is a catastrophe. Oh, what's the problem? It's just a stupid bat. It's bad luck. Oh, rubbish. Since when have you ever been superstitious? Honestly, boys and their toys is so pathetic. Ow! Oh. oh, what's the matter now? You hit my head. Oh, well, Mark, if you're going to get in the way of flying objects, you only have yourself to blame. <sighs> my bat. She broke my bat. And as if that wasn't bad enough, things really went downhill from there. Something or someone was causing all my bad luck. And if I needed proof, it came about 15 minutes ago. Mark King! Yes, sir? You're on lunchtime detention until further notice. You can start by cleaning up the mess you've made in my office! Yes, sir. <laughs> Just as I suspected. Ever since she broke my cricket bat, things have gone wrong. And they always go wrong whenever Gemma's around. This is a disaster. Even the thought of her causes something bad to happen. She's jinxed me. Hey, Shorty, knock, knock. What? You meant to say, who's there, Shorty? Yeah, Shorty. I've never worried about being short before. But for some reason, Chick and Conga have decided to pick on me for it. The worst part is that I have to put up with their really terrible jokes. I said, knock, knock. Who's there? No answer. <laughs> what is so funny about that? You were so short, we didn't even notice you. <laughs> See what I mean? It's lucky I'm a mature 10 year old, so I don't worry about stuff like that. Actually, I'm almost a mature 11 year old. It's my birthday next week. Hey, Kingy, I'm almost forgot. What are you doing for your birthday? Is your mummy taking you to Tiny Top World? Come along, Gregory, dear. I do so, so love Tiny Top World. That's it. They can laugh about my height as much as they like, but no one makes fun of my mum. Actually, my mum's taking me to Sydney Super Park, and I'm going to ride the tumultuous terror at least 11 times, maybe even more. Sydney Super Park? The tumultuous terror is meant to be really awesome. Your mum must be really cool. Is she taking me friends, Kiki? I might. I'll just have to see. I was saving this for later, but you can have it. Thanks. So let us know if we can help you with anything, Kingy. Anything at all. What are you talking about? Gabrielle's taking you to the science museum for your birthday. I know. So why did you tell them that you're going to Sydney Super Park? Well, because I'm going to convince Mum to take us there instead. This time, Mark has really lost his marbles. He thinks I've jinxed him. How ridiculous. I'm not complaining, of course. Having Mark keep out of my way is my idea of heaven. Mark, what are you doing? I'm just uh, tying my shoelace. You know me hide behind a wheelbarrow to do that? Gemma's jinxed me, Vinny. This is the worst day of my entire life, and it's all her fault. Oh. Ever since she broke my cricket bat, everything's gone wrong. There's no such thing as jinxes, mate. They don't exist. That's easy for you to say. Your life hasn't become one big disaster every time she comes anywhere near you. You know, you really should watch your step, Mark. It's your fault. What are you doing to me? You can always move to another city, you know, even another country. I don't know what you've done, but whatever it is, I hope it comes back to haunt you one day. It's brilliant. At this rate, I won't see him for weeks at a time. Months, even. Absolutely out of the question, Greg. But, Mum, you have to let me go. You asked me to organise a trip to the Science Museum. 
And that's what I've done. But why can't I change my mind? It's my birthday. The Science Museum will be fun. I've already planned the day. So much for begging and pleading. I have to move on to plan B. Let me do that for you. Please let me. You can choose from Fiery Fuchsia, Blush Blossom or Licorice Charm. I think this one would suit your colouring best. It's raining, Greg. I don't need an umbrella. Just making sure, Mummy. Anything else I can do for you? Carry your bag, perhaps? All right, Greg. I can't stand this helpfulness any longer. So, you mean I could go to Sydney Super Park for my birthday? As long as you refrain from being in any way useful to me between now and Saturday. It's a deal. <laughs> I did it. The perfect execution of the perfect plan. Sydney Super Park, here we come. How tall are you, Greg? What do you want to know? It says here you have to be 142 centimetres to ride the tumultuous terror. 142 centimetres. 139.5 centimetres. Are you sure? Measure me again. It's still 139.5 centimetres. It must be the measuring tape. Are you sure it's not faulty? This is so unfair. I convinced Mum to take me to Sydney Super Park, but now I'm too short to go on the best ride there. It's not if anyone's going to know whether you go on the tumultuous terror or not. What are you two doing here? These boys brought me some eggs from their very own hens. And they mentioned Greg's birthday and how much they'd love to celebrate it with him. So I've invited them along to the Super Park on Saturday. I think I've just come down with birthday-itis. It's going to be great, Kingy. Yeah, the best. We'll get to ride the tumultuous terror together. Awesome! <laughs> Mum, I think it is better if we go to the Science Museum for my birthday after all. Sydney Super Park's a long way away and it's very expensive. Nonsense, Greg. I'm looking forward to it. Your friends told me about that ride. The Tommy Tummy thing? Oh, the tumultuous terror. Sounds fantastic. I might have a go on it myself. This is appalling. I go to all the trouble of making Mum look like a hero and I end up looking like a fool. Could someone pass me the tomato sauce? Can't you come in and get it yourself? No way am I going anywhere near that dinner table while she's there. It's all right, I'll take it to him. After all, it's the least I can do, isn't it? Without Mark here, it's the best dinner I've had in ages. What are you doing in here? Don't worry, I'm not going to come anywhere near you. There. Nothing happened, did it? Bye. She did this deliberately. I know it. I woke up with a flash of inspiration at 4 a.m. this morning. I only need to go 2.5 centimetres to be tall enough to ride the tumultuous terror. With this experiment, I'll be able to stretch before Saturday. With my homemade inversion boots and weights, it'll only be a matter of hours before I've grown. Although by that time I'll be feeling pretty dizzy. I'm actually feeling dizzy already. And nauseous. Uh, I think I need a drink. Help! Somebody! I'm stuck! Okay. Heard about your birthday this Saturday? We did. Heard you going to Sydney Super Park. Oh. You see, we've always really wanted to go on the tumultuous tower. That's why we're coming with you. You are? You're really lucky, King. We don't get that many people's birthday parties. But we're going to make an exception for yours. See you Saturday, Kingy. This is going to become the worst day of my entire life. <laughs> Are you coming? Oh, I think I'll walk home today. Why? I just want to, all right? Soggy tea bag. <coughs> you sound terrible. 
Go and take a long hot bath. No, I can't. It's my turn to feed the animals. You're not going outside again in that weather. Gemma will volunteer to do it for you, won't you, darling? Volunteer for what? You're helping Vinny with the evening feed. I can't go outside in this weather. Don't be so silly, Mummy. You'll have to, I'm afraid, Gems. Mark will catch pneumonia if he goes outside again. And the animals do need to be fed. As much as I hate the rain, this could be my lucky break. If the weather keeps up for one more day, then we'll have to cancel the trip to Sydney Superpark and I'll be off the hook. Did you see that? Even the weather's against me. I can't believe I just spent a whole hour in that horrid weather. Stupid mark and stupid superstition. I bet Mark did this. I bet he was trying to get back at me. This jinx has gone too far. Gemma, I think we need to help Mark get over his jinx problem. I totally agree. It's ridiculous. But I thought you liked him avoiding you. Well, yes, I do, but I hate the fact that I have to do his chores and that he's ruined my top just because he's too scared to sit at the dinner table with me. We need to figure out a way of tricking Mark into being in the same place as you without realising it. My thoughts exactly. Why? So, when he finds out you're there and nothing bad has happened, he'll work out there's no jinx. Brilliant. Just um, explain that to me again, please. Mark, Mark, are you awake? Mm, I am now. Vinny wants you to feed the kangaroos for him. No way. Why not? I'm staying in bed. That way, there's no risk of running into Gemma. Gemma's in bed with the flu. You won't bump into her. Come on, Mark. Vinny needs you. Okay. What are you doing here? You meant to have the flu. Kay and I decided we weren't putting up with this superstitious balloony any longer. I've been here all along and nothing disastrous has happened. That's just proof that there's no jinx. There never was one. You've been here all along? Yep, and there's been no broken windows or bruised limbs. Not yet. No accidents or mishaps of any kind. Yeah, but... So you see, there's absolutely nothing to it. Maybe I have been imagining it. Mark, what are you doing? Feeding the kangaroos. I've got their feed here. What have you been feeding? High-octane multivitamins. Oh, no! <laughs> You have jinxed me. I'm not imagining it. Just stay away from me. My plans for becoming taller by Saturday have failed miserably. I'm going to have a terrible birthday. Everyone else will have fun and I'll just have to sit there and watch. Maybe Chika and Conga are right. Maybe being short is a real problem after all. Now that I think about it, I often feel that Mr White doesn't see me in class. All right, class. What are the names of the three provinces of Borneo? And it would explain why I always seem to be the last one served at the canteen. It's funny, but I've never thought about being sure before. Should I be worried? Should I learn martial arts? I'm going to have to think seriously about this one. Class, I'd like to introduce Barnaby McLeod. He's just moved here from Queensland. Please, let's make him feel welcome. <laughs> yes, Craig? Um, sir, Barnaby can come and sit next to me. All right then, Barnaby, off you go. Welcome. Thanks. Isn't this amazing? A kid in class is actually shorter than I am. This presents opportunities for scientific research. <laughs> So, short boy, do you wrestle crocodiles in Queensland? Yeah, short sure, boy, do you? Nah, that'd be a stupid thing to do. Yeah, it's because I reckon the crocodiles would mistake you for a koala in Asia. <laughs> leave him alone, you guys. Oh, scary boy, Kingy. Yeah, we better hide. If you don't leave him alone, I can uninvite you to my birthday party. So, uh, yeah, nice talking to you, Barnaby. Yeah, see ya. Thanks. When's your birthday? Saturday. Do you want to come? Yeah, that'd be great. I won't tell them about the tumultuous terror. 
Not yet, anyway. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Do bigger kids pick on you much? Sometimes. But I find it boring, so they find it boring. So they normally give up. So you don't mind being short? No way, it's great. Really? I always get front row seats at concerts. I'm the cute little kid that people get out of the way for. Anyway, it won't last long. It won't? When I'm 13, I have a growth spurt. How do you know? I have three older brothers. As soon as they turned 13, they all grew eight centimetres. It'll probably happen to you too. You mean, I've only got two years left to enjoy being me? That's about it. That doesn't leave much time. I'd better get moving. Oh, sorry, sir. Mark King! Just the person I was looking for. What have I done now, sir? Look, son. Everyone has bad days or bad weeks. You just have to stick with it and wait until it passes. Yes, sir. And for the time being, why don't you concentrate on doing something you enjoy instead of moping around? Well, I've been banned from sport because of all the broken windows. Well, I suppose we can lift the ban. As long as you promise to play sport as far away from any windows as possible. Yes, sir. Hey, do you two want to play cricket? Cricket? Why would we want to do that? Yeah, that'd be excellent. OK, well, we're playing over there. Do you really want to play cricket? Yeah. Look, the only drawback of being short is that people assume short kids get glasses aren't interested in sport. I love it, especially cricket. Yeah. OK, then. But I should warn you, Mark's been acting a bit weird lately. Okay, we'll have six hits each. Let her at Barney. Good shot! No, it wasn't. I was aiming for over there. Where is she? Where's who? Gemma's got to be around here somewhere. Does he always play cricket like this? I told you, he's been acting weird the last couple of days. <sighs> Couldn't find her anywhere. I could have told you that. She's in the library. No, she's not. She's around here somewhere. I know it. Here, Greg, your turn to bowl. I'm not very good at cricket. I've never played it before. Well, here's your chance. Just go back there, take a good run up and bowl as fast as you can. Ready when you are, Greg? I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's OK. I'm fine. You let me have a look. <sighs> what a bruise. Did I do that? No, your dumb sister did it when she threw my bat at me. When did that happen? Oh, a few days ago. That's how long he's been acting weird, isn't it? Who says I'm weird? I'm not weird. Mark, you've been falling on stairs, hitting the ball into the opposite direction to where you want it to go, smashing school windows and feeding kangaroos the wrong food. Of course you've been weird. That is not weird. It's because your dumb sister Gemma jinxed me. Then I bet you the jinx is over. <laughs> OK, then nominate where you want to hit it. Over there. Come on, then, face up. Are you sure this is a good idea? Watch. <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! Super excellent! <laughs> You ready? Maybe. Right, go. You did it. I did, didn't I? Last year, my brother got hit in the head playing football. He had the same problems as Mark. Then my other brother was packing his golf swing and accidentally hit him in the same spot. And that made him normal again. A hundred percent. And that's what happened to me. Looks like it. It doesn't sound very scientific. Who cares about science? I got my sport tie back. Thanks, Barney. And there's no jinx. You might even have to apologise to Gemma. No way. She started this by breaking my bat and throwing it at me. 
definitely no apology. Hi guys. Um, look, there's been a change of plans for my birthday. What do you mean, King? Yeah, what do you mean? Uh, we're not going to Cindy Super Park after all. Why not? Well, you see, I've invited Barnaby and his two shorts ride the tumultuous terror. So I thought we'd better go somewhere that we can all enjoy. That sucks. Yeah, Kingy, that sucks. But, um, New Vampires Destroy All Vampires is showing at the cinema. Is that the film about vampires? Yeah. Well, that's supposed to be really good. We went and saw Old Vampires Destroy Really Old Vampires last year. That was awesome. awesome. This is the sequel. Cool. Not as cool as the tumultuous terror, but still cool. So you all come in? Yeah, yeah right. right. Sure. <laughs> that went better than expected. I think my birthday's going to be fun after all. Now, I don't want to see the bat being thrown after you've hit the ball. Yes, Mrs. Krantz. Play ball! <laughs> If you think being the scorer is boring, then you're right. But it's better than playing. Playing is the ultimate in boring. So, Mark, you've decided to join us. I thought you'd given up sports. No way, Miss Krantz. Got myself back together again. Psyched up and I'm ready to go. Well, just don't throw the bat or you'll be going all the way back to the bench. Right. Play ball! <laughs> Jinx days are over. Disallowed. What? You threw the bat. The run is disallowed. This is so unfair. That was the best hit. Perhaps you'd like to tell that to Gemma. Sorry, Gemma, but if you're going to get in the way of flying objects, you've only got yourself to blame. I'm going to get you for this. Just terror to have a great birthday. Movies are much more fun, and the really good thing is you don't need to be taught to enjoy them. Maybe having a gross bird in two years' time won't be so bad after all. <laughs> <laughs>